Listening Library presents Who Was Louis Armstrong? by Yona Zeldis McDonough. Read for you by Kevin Pariseau. Who Was Louis Armstrong? Once there was a poor black boy who grew up in New Orleans in the early years of the 20th century. His name was Louis Armstrong. But people called him Little Louie. To help his family, he did all kinds of jobs. He hunted for bits of brass and tinfoil that he sold to junk dealers. He peddled newspapers on the streets, and he ran errands for grown-ups. Louis also formed a singing group with three of his friends. The boys stood on a corner and sang. People gave them money. On New Year's Eve, when little Louie was about twelve, he and his friends went out to sing. They had just finished a song called My Brazilian Beauty and were on their way home. One of his pals took out a cap gun and shot it into the air. He wanted to make noise because it was New Year's Eve. Louie did, too, and he had a real gun. He took it out and pointed it up at the sky. Bam, bam, bam. A policeman heard the gunshots. Shooting a gun was very dangerous. It was also against the law. The policeman took Louis down to the station, and the next day he was sent to a reform school. Reform schools were for boys who were too young to be sent to jail. Years later, Louis Armstrong remembered that he thought his world was coming to an end then. As it turned out, going to the reform school saved his life. While he was in the school, he learned to play the cornet. He learned to play it so well that he grew up to become one of the greatest jazz musicians of all time. He composed dozens of songs that have become famous, and his music is still heard and loved today. Chapter 1 A Rough and Tumble Start Louis Armstrong was born in 1901 in a poor black section of New Orleans called Storyville. It was so dangerous that its nickname was the Battlefield. Many people carried guns or knives wherever they went. There was lots of crime. Louis's mother, May Ann Armstrong, had to support her two children all by herself. Sometimes she worked as a maid. Sometimes she went away for days at a time. Louis and his little sister Beatrice were often left with their grandmother. Her name was Josephine, and she had been a slave. Now she made a living washing and ironing clothes for white people. She gave Louis a nickel to pick up and deliver her washloads. It made him feel rich. Josephine was very strict. She made Louis go to school to church, and to Sunday school. When he was bad, she swatted his behind with a branch. But later, Louis was grateful for her concern. She wanted to keep him out of trouble, because she cared about what happened to him. It was not easy to be a young African-American boy in the early 1900s. Though slavery had ended in 1865, many white people thought blacks were not as good as white people they were often treated unfairly. Once, Louis got on a streetcar with his little sister Beatrice and a family friend who was babysitting them. There were lots of empty seats up front, so Louis sat down. The babysitter told him to come back and sit with her and Beatrice. But Louis didn't want to. It was more fun to sit in front. He could see where the streetcar was headed. When he didn't move... She got up and dragged him to the back and forced him to sit with her. If she hadn't, all three of them could have been thrown off the bus or beaten up, even arrested. Seats in the front were for white people only. Another time, Louis and his friends were swimming in a local pond. One of the boys lost his bathing suit, and the others were trying to help him find it. All of a sudden... 
Sample complete. Ready to continue?